What's up guys, I recently realized that the Brazilian ETF had a very high dividend rate. As you can see here, just a little under 7%. So I wanted to dig a little deeper into the individual stocks within this index and try to find companies with a good value and a high dividend. So before I start that analysis, I normally like to look at the foreign exchange and compare the currencies when I'm investing in foreign markets. So here is a chart of the one year Brazilian real to USD. So it's really just been fluctuating, maybe gaining slightly in the last month, but really nothing major here. So the first company I want to look at is Vale. So this is a large mining stock. So the PE 4.5, so that's very low. Price to book 2.4, a little bit higher there. Current ratio 1.67. Decent return on equity 15%. And for a capital intensive company, well managed, reasonable debt here. So as you can see, this company has a almost a 17% dividend. If you look at the chart here, I mean, this thing is starting to, it looks like it's really bottomed and it's starting to go back up. So, you know, I could expect something like a slight pullback um, with a continuation here, but regardless this is something that I would look at to hold for the long term and just collect that dividend, not really trying to time the market or anything. The next company, PBR, so an oil company here, energy company, PE of 3.2. You don't find these PEs in the U.S. market, I'm telling you that. Um, price to book, very reasonable, 1.2. Well capitalized, it's got a decent current ratio there pretty low return on equity and a little higher debt again 16 percent dividend here uh, this is a reasonable value a little bit higher debt um, and a little bit low of a return so hard to say if th this is really a stable dividend but hey even if they cut some of these dividends in half you're talking about an eight percent dividend here so definitely reasonable. Okay, so ITAO, this is a major bank. PE of 7.6. Price to book of two, not too bad. Current ratio under one, I don't like to see that. Look at this debt, Four, 400%. I mean, this is a bank, so it's a little bit different here. And little, actually much lower dividend, so four, um, 4%, you know, for that, with that high of debt and this, in this case, as far as Brazilian stocks, low of a dividend, this one wasn't as attractive to me personally. Ambev, a beer company, this is owned by AB InBev here, uh, PE of 14, high price to book, 3.3, I mean, this is still lower than many of the stocks in the US market. Uh, current ratio around one, decent return, 16%. And again, this is very low debt. So that's really good to see here. So overall, no major red flags. Everything looks pretty decent, a little bit higher price to book. But again, when you look at US markets, it's really probably still low compared to a lot of stocks in the US here. Um, technically, I mean, this thing's just chopping around, going slightly higher. Looks like it broke down a little bit, but this thing has a strong support here. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see this reversing at least temporarily or probably chopping around for a while, which I don't mind. I mean, I personally don't like to see these things shoot up. I like them to stay down. I just keep buying more and keep getting that cash flow. So this has a yield of around 4.5% on Ambev. So reasonable there, not as high as the others. Sorry about that. So Gerdau, so this is a steel company. PE of 3.6, price to book 1.35. So really good valuation here. Current ratio of two, very, very good. 
reasonable return on equity and again capital intensive company well managed reasonable debt technically looks good this thing looks like it had a nice pullback shook some people out and looks like it's starting to go back to the upside um, over 11 percent dividend I mean what's not to like about that Telefonica Brazil 16 percent or sorry PE of 16 price to book round one good current ratio a little bit low return but really good debt here only 19 percent oh uh, this yeah so we're just pretty much flat just chopping around giving you time to accumulate shares dividend yield of over 11 percent so this one looks interesting i I'd be interested to look through the reports and do a little more research and consider a position here. So, no idea how to say this. I'm just calling it SID. PE of 2. That's crazy. Price to book, a little bit higher here. Good current ratio. Great return on equity. Um, and... No, that debt though, I mean, I see one thing like that and I just take that off my watch list. Other than that, everything looks good though. This is a steel company, I believe. Um, so it is capital intensive, but again, some of these other companies have much better debt management. So 8% dividend. So Coppel. This is a, um, a utilities company, an electricity generating company and distribution. They have hydro power plants, all that type of thing. So PE of 15, price to book around one. So fair value. I like to see that. Current ratio is good. Return on equity, pretty good. And utility company, 50% debt to equity, not too bad. This thing's kind of in a range as well here. So not a lot going on technically. And a 23% dividend. So interesting company here. So yeah, the companies that I found here that personally showed the most value were Valet, the mining company, Gerdau, the steel company telefonica brazil and copel this energy company and ambev was pretty decent ambev and petrobras were definitely decent contenders so yeah i think there's some decent value here in these brazilian stocks a lot better than i'm seeing here in the u.s so i'm going to do some more research and definitely consider investing here so let me know what you think if anyone owns any of these stocks, let me know. Appreciate it, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.